Hi, this is Daisy Devine with your creative tips. Tattoos. Hey, they're a very popular form of visual art and self-expression. The popularity and common display of tattoos that are on people from multicultural backgrounds, men and women, rich and poor alike, have committed to a tattoo. Miami Inc. is TLC's hot show about the art and drama of tattooing. It takes you inside the ink parlor and highlights the lives of the artists at work, home, and play. Magazines like Ink have uh, pop stars like Pink on the front showing her ink. Angelina Jolie has her share as the popularity of tattoos increases among the rich and famous. What at one time was an underground industry now surfaces on the general population as fast as the artist can create. They are at times symbols serving as a rite of passage spiritual truths such as like cultural heritage and memorials they've been used as identification and a form of branding tattoos have been used cosmetically <laughs> they have been used medically popularity and the influx of new artists into the industry has made tattoos a trendy cultural art that gives each individual the opportunity to be a gallery, a living, moving, breathing work of art for the whole world to see, if the tattoo's visible. Could we say a living sculpture? Why not? Everybody has a story to tell. Remember, you are the artist of your own life. Yet not all of us can make up our mind that easily, take the pain, or just simply commit to a tattoo. Kudos to those that have tattoos. I myself have been tempted to get a tattoo, but I think I'm just going to stick with the body art for now. Say you are thinking of getting a tattoo and want to see how it would look. There are face paints, tattoo pens, and henna. Henna is one step beyond face paint. It actually stains your skin and it lasts up to three weeks. Henna is a paste which I have discovered comes in a rainbow of colors. Yes, it is easy to use and uh, you can find some online. It's a fun alternative to tattoos. You can change it up, fashion your body art to match your outfit, use stencils, add stick-on gems, don't forget the glitter, paint freehand, and just have fun. If you want to become a tattoo artist, then research other artists. Learn about health and safety, and I hear it's a good idea to practice on a grapefruit. If you're choosing to get a tattoo, make sure you choose the artist that is best for you. Do your research. There are many to choose from in the ever popular culture of, of tattoos. Hey, and I hear the Toronto Hilton has a yearly tattoo expo. That might be an interesting event. Magazines, TV, internet, hey, even the Yellow Pages offer an endless array of artists to choose from. This has been Creative Tips with Daisy Devine. Remember, art makes you smart. Until next time.